Hey guys, what's up? How is it going? I know it's been around three months now of working from home, uh, hoping that everyone is staying safe and will slowly but surely overcome this entire pandemic. So today we will touch upon some key aspects of personal finance. Although this is a very vast subject in itself and it's difficult to cover the entire subject in in few minutes, but we'll definitely touch upon some basic fundamentals of it. One important thing here before I begin is to distinguish between money and wealth. So money is one form of wealth. There are other forms of wealth which include your your physical well-being, so health. Uh, I mean your social wealth and time is also considered as one of the forms of wealth. So we'll keep our conversation more practical today, and you know that's the reason we'll discuss one of the forms of wealth, which is financial wealth. And uh, even a subset of that is a personal finance. So we'll try and focus uh, our today's conversation on a personal finance, and I'll break down the entire subject into five subtopics. So we'll uh, briefly cover each of these into detail. So the first point in our journey of understanding personal finance is introduction to finance, or I'll say financial literacy. Uh, I'll say most of us do touch upon this subject. Uh, at least theoretically uh, practically maybe few of us do touch upon this considering you know if we are surrounded by these subjects on a day to day basis like you know understanding income what's what's your profit and loss or what's your balance sheet so all the pretty basic stuff i mean what's your savings account what's your current account what's your debit what's your credit uh different and how do you calculate your you know interest on your income uh in, in terms of a percentage is it is it annual is it monthly so like pretty basic financial stuff definitely a must to do for everyone who wants to you know further understand the subject in detail second point here would be uh understanding income i'll say this is the starting point of uh the entire personal finance journey income again here is different from uh, i'll say inflows or cash flows because you getting a loan from a friend uh, or from a bank uh, is not an income it's just an a cash inflow so understanding what are the different types of income you know and what are the different methods of generating those income is, is something which we need to understand and focus on third point here is to understand expenses Uh, expenses is also nothing but all your day to day needs and all the spends which you do uh, to also continue and and you know continue and live and survive important thing here is to again you know distinguish uh, expenses from investment which will anyways cover in our fifth point anything which is giving you a kind of a also income or a return uh, in future is is classified as an investment and not as, a, not as an expenditure So, from an expenditure point of view, what one needs to have is a kind of a list of what are my you know monthly or I'll say yearly expenditures where I'm spending the entire amount which I'm earning as an income, uh, and so that uh, kind of a budget which you know then I'll say a corporations or an organizations keep is is also good to have on an individual point of view that gives you an idea in terms of where are actually your income uh, which you are earning is getting spended on on a month on month basis. fourth point here would be uh, understanding savings savings uh, if you ask me for a formula point of view it's nothing but income minus expenditure so whatever you earn minus whatever you have expended is is nothing but the amount which you have saved uh, and this is where your uh, i'll say the wealth building process starts identifying a ways of increasing your savings uh, is is nothing but i mean you are increasing your wealth slowly and steadily and that's where comes uh, the next step of Uh, which we'll discuss in detail, which is nothing but a fifth step of investment, and how do you grow your savings and how do you grow your wealth? So, the more you understand your income and your expenses in details, the more it will help you in in increasing your savings, uh, you know, over the period of years. So, fifth and the final point uh, in this topic would be understanding investing or uh, or investments. uh again we need to understand you know what are those different set of assets available where one can invest his his or her own savings there are different asset class available which includes your maybe real estate buying a home buying in uh, office space or uh, gold again uh, then there are bank fixed deposits uh, government bonds uh, mutual funds uh, 
equity investments in markets so different asset classes each has its own risks and rewards uh, so need to thoroughly understand you know which asset class suits you uh, and also in terms of what's your risk appetite depending on that uh, need to start investing your amount which is been saved because an amount which is just saved is, is is of no use because the value of the money depreciates over the period of time so 10000 rupees uh, maybe in 2000 is not uh, equal to 10000 rupees as of date so that's where the investing comes into picture so i'll quickly repeat all the five steps which were discussed so far first being introduction to finance or financial literacy second understanding of income third being uh, understanding of expenditures fourth point here would be uh, understanding savings fifth and last point is nothing but how do you put your savings into work so nothing but you know you start investing if none of you guys have so far uh, made a financial plan or a goal i'll say this is the right time to do so so put the, put this down uh, uh you know on on record uh, it will be easier for you to track if you are going off from it try and master these five steps and it will help you a long way in your personal finance journey and also building a financial wealth for yourself so here's wishing everyone a happy and a prosperous life ahead stay safe goodbye